<clears throat> Hi friends, it's Carol from Cape Cod Cottage Gardening, gardening here on Cape Cod Mass in Zone 7A. Today I'm going to be planting up a spring pot. I'm really excited to do this. The weather is unseasonably warm here. Um, it is 9 a.m. and it is already 73 degrees out. That is super warm for April at, on Cape Cod. But anyway, so today I'm going to be planting this up and I stopped at the store the other day and picked up some, some um, pansies and some tulips and some Melissa. The original intent for these plants was to go in my big giant aqua pot I have in my condo, um, but I ran out of time and didn't plant them up and I was coming down here so I didn't want them to die in this heat. So I brought them down here and I figure I'll just pop them in here. They're not my usual color scheme. Um, as you know, I usually do soft tones out here in the front, but something about these colors just drew me in. I really bought these for my condo, not for here, but I'm going to use them anyways. Look at the color of these pansies. It's called Coastal Sunrise Mix, but I love this deep burgundy one. It's very different than the purple and then this like magenta one. Aren't they pretty? So I have these and I have these pretty yellow flowers, although these are looking a little worse for wear. They're standing up nice and tall, but some of the leaves are yellowing, see? I left them on the porch yesterday here, right behind us, and it's full sun all day long, and it was they were right on the bricks, and I think they dried out, even though I watered them in the morning. But I'm gonna try to put a couple of those in. I thought that was pretty. They're standing up nice and tall. And I did buy a nine pack of alyssum. I thought, we all know how the fragrance of alyssum is so pretty. I'm gonna try to sneak a couple of those in. And I also bought these tulips. They're called two-tone tulip. They're like yellow and orangey color, which, you know, is totally not my thing. <laughs> yellow, orange, and reds are not my colors, but I'm going to put them in, see how they look. Um, now, obviously, I have way too many plants for that one small container, so um, I'll have to pick and choose and figure out what. Just put, play with them a little bit, see what looks good. So I brought a big bag of, pot of container mix to put in this pot. And then I thought, why should I waste a whole bag of brand new container mix on plants that are probably going to be in the ground maybe four weeks? And I, so here's a tip for you. Um, when planting spring things or things that are only going to be in the container for, you know, not the whole season, I just went in the backyard, took, uh, I have a big pot out there. My big patio pot was still full of container mix. I just dug out a big pot of it and I'm going to use that. I'll fill it probably like three quarters or halfway with the used potting mix, um, container mix, and then I'll top it off with some brand new container mix. I'll just put some um, biotone just to beef it up a little bit, just to give it some nutrients, but that's what I'm going to use. So let me go ahead and dump that in. I mean, it still looks good. You know, I do have garden gloves. <laughs> I just never use them. I use them with my roses and other things that are going to hurt me, but Otherwise, it's hands in the dirt. I read something recently that said that um, having your hands in the dirt releases some kind of endorphin, and it's actually very, very good for your mental health. I believe it wholeheartedly. So let me just put some biotone in. Guys, I am loving my Gorilla Cot. What I do is I just leave all my stuff in it. I throw it in my shed for the night, and in the morning I just pull it out and everything's ready to go, and I can drag it around the yard with me. It's fantastic. I'll show you a picture of it after. Just throw some of this in. This is Biotone by Espoma. I don't know if you can see the bag. It's like a starter plant food fertilizer thing. Oh my gosh, it's very heavy. I'll just mix that in a little bit. I just put a couple handfuls. Like I said, this is going to be in the ground four weeks. I mean, in the pot, four weeks. And then I just have some um, container mix. I've used this last year. It's by Fafford. I buy it locally here, and it did really great. My containers were great last year. Let's throw a little bit of that fresh stuff in. Let's see. That should be good. Nice. It's very dry. I don't have my hose hooked up out here yet. We did put the sprinklers on. Um, just because maybe, just maybe this weekend, I'm going to put the drip system in my raised garden vegetable bed. Um, I am going to video it uh, like a how-to 
I don't know how to, <laughs> but I'm going to figure it out and I'll show you guys and take you guys along with me. So let's see what I was thinking of my other pot was I'm going to use all these plants, but obviously this container is a lot smaller. I'm going to put the tulips in the middle. Do I need both of them? Hmm. There's three, looks like three bulbs in this one. And three bulbs in this one. Hmm. I'll see. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to pop the, these in the middle and then I'm just going to plant all around. Oh my gosh, I can feel the giant bulbs in here. I've never planted tulips like this that were pre, like bulbs that were already growing. But I was so sad because last, I think, you know, last year, you know how we put in so, oh my gosh, look at the roots. There I go again, changing the subject. My brain flips on and off very quickly, but look at that. Yeah, these need to get into the ground. Um, what I was saying was last year we did like, I don't know, I told you a thousand times, but like 200 and something plants. We did so much work in this yard last year that by the time the autumn came, I was done. <laughs> so I didn't plant any, I didn't plant any um, bulbs at all, which I regret now, of course, in the spring, like we all do, right? So there's one. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of, I really like these the most. So let's see. Oh yeah, these babies are ready to go too. Huh. Have to get closer. Look at that. Yeah, ready to go on the ground. Let me bring you a little closer if I can. I'm gonna change my camera angle so you can see what I'm doing close up. Remember when I told you about my scatterbrain? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot the alyssum. I guess I can just pop a couple in. Oh, it's not easy with my brain. Let's see, can I pop a couple of these in? Is there room? <laughs> I'm gonna make room. Hmm. I need a little more soil that in now of course it's sopping wet because I just it's one I'll stick one in here move over move over big plants do any of you other guys do any of you other gardeners talk to your plants or give them a voice like I do. Yep, my weird is showing again. Just one more. I'll pop it in right here. There we go. Just gonna add a little soil to the top, give them one more quick water for the alyssum, 
and then we're done. I think it came out pretty. I hope that these will grow a little taller and be a little more of a thriller. And I'll give you an update on how it's doing. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.